Hey, I'm Liv, and welcome to this video, which is an unboxing of the Copacetic Cosmetic something. I'm not super sure. Is this, this is probably November, probably November. We'll find out when we open it. I'm a very lucky girl. My shop miss a hole just arrived and my Copacetic Cosmetic. So I thought I would give this the video it deserves. Open this up, see what we got. I'm very excited because I have my shop miss a palette to pop everything in. So hopefully we got some good eyeshadow. Let's find out. Normally we get a cute box, so I'm not sure why they did the change, but this is quite adorable looking. Very cute, it says, thank you for supporting my small business. You're welcome. I love supporting small businesses. I really do, like, I can only imagine how it feels to have a product that you personally worked on so hard and people care about it and wanna support you, so let's pop this open and I see something exciting already. As per usual, everything's very well wrapped. I'm gonna go with the first thing, which is the lip gloss. I've been hoping to get one that's a very wearable shade because they've been, uh, everything's wearable, but like the shades that we've gotten so far don't look super fantastic with my skin tone. So let's see how this looks. It's a coppery red. All of their stuff smells and just feels amazing. This smells like an apple cinnamon and I already saw something else that said apple. So I'm wondering if that's sort of the theme. I have a totally different color on underneath, but it doesn't matter. I think it's apple-y. Mm. Wow, that's quite colorful. Oh, I'm excited. That feels great. As per usual, just a really lovely slip. Okay, so we have this apple pie body bar. Is this a soap? I don't know. Let's have a sniff. There's the apple pie body bar. Ice guy cut stuff. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I think this whole thing is apple. Oh God, it smells really good. That's what it looks like up close. Just kind of a delicious thing that you kind of want to eat. I'm going to have to look this up. Like, what is it? Is it a soap or is it a moisturizer? If it was a moisturizer, I'd be so happy. We'll find out. And there is the lip gloss and the lip gloss color too. Very lovely, really lovely. I'm gonna say apple themed. All right, ooh, we have a nail polish, which is an identical match for the lip gloss, like literally spot on 100%. It is a gorgeous sort of crimson, a little bit multi-chromatic, like orange red. I'm not really sure. That is, that's a lovely shade, isn't it? And I don't have that much nail polish like that. I don't think I have any. It's like very grown up fancy. <laughs> Let's see what the eyeshadow looks like. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, cool, we got a matte. So we got a matte called Cinnamon Spice. Cinnamon and apple, very much this whole setup here. Get out of here. Oh, it's a little crack. Most certainly hand pressed or filled. It's a little, you can see it's a little low, like not filled all the way and it's got a little crack in it, but hmm. Oh, I should swatch on scars, let's do that. So I swatched it a little bit over there, but let's see over here, just a little swipe. It actually feels really lovely. I've gotten their mattes before, right? I think so, maybe not. I, I have last month and my, not last month, they have a $2 Tuesday. So I have my $2 Tuesday over there and I think it's all shimmers. That was a lovely mat. We're gonna put that in my Shock Masse palette. Bonk. And then the literal perfect match for the nail polish and the lip gloss. The shade is called Pignot Noir. Pin, Pignot Noir, please tell me if I'm saying that right. Pignot Noir. Pignot. <laughs> okay, let's swatch this. Whoa, did you guys reformulate? Did you change the formula every time? I have not found a consistent formula so far and I've only tried one of the flakies that they have, but this feels fantastic. Let's see how it swatches because some of their other shadows have not swatched well. Holy moly, oh my goodness. That, hello, that was really good. That was really, really good. Wow, okay, that's fantastic. You can see that from all the way back here. I, yeah, none of their other stuff has swatched that well. I have Frank and Weenie, they had their Halloween collection. This is another shimmer. It was just, you can see how much I'm rubbing, right? Dry and lackluster, not, not good at all. Um, where can I swatch? <laughs> I'll swatch down here. Swatch over there, yeah, my nail polish is crazy okay so do you see what i mean like lackluster compared to that red that was just like so both of the shadows that we got this month were not filled as well um maybe she's experimenting i think it's a she they maybe they are experimenting with the pressing and maybe putting less product in and pressing it more gently because i wonder if perhaps the other eyeshadows were pressed too hard not sure but i have twitches from the halloween and hocus pocus all really pretty colors but they not not a good quality and then tower of terror which is a flaky which 
is lovely. And then, oh my gosh, I have a lot. Stanley Hotel, this one is really excellent. This is probably, probably not as good as the red, but definitely close. And then, oh my goodness, I have a lot. Borley Rectory, was that one good? That was, that was pretty good, no? Okay, so the best ones we've had are Stanley Hotel and Pignot Noir. <laughs> How fun, that was super fun. Is that it, that's all? Because I just did my shop masse, which was like $40 and it was 40 minutes of opening stuff. And then this is $25, but less stuff, but you get really lovely quality. You're supporting a small business, feels really cool. I'm very, very happy with the quality of this. That's really lovely. I love the lipstick, love the theme. I feel like I will totally be wearing literally the combination of this and the eyeshadow for a really cohesive look. Maybe make it really vampy. Oh, wine tasting. And that's the name of the eyeshadow is wine tasting. Awesome Bliss is the lip gloss and then Pignot Noir is the eyeshadow. So we definitely have this full theme. Very nice and cohesive. Okay, that was super fun. If you also get copacetic cosmetics, I would love to hear your thoughts about this month, which I'm assuming was November. Maybe it was December and it's early. I'm not sure. Uh, but let me know what you think. If you're interested in trying this out, I'll put the link down below. They have three different packages. This is the middle one. So there's a heftier one and a smaller one too. And they do $2 Tuesdays. So if you want to try their eyeshadow, you could do it very affordably. Wherever you are, I hope you're having the best day that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you. And thanks for hanging out.